You know, I work with the Missoula Winter Public Market. You know, and as you just said, it's <clears throat> something we're trying to extend the season on the farmers market, uh, the summer farmers market season. Um, in the summer, I work for the Clark Fork Market, so kind of just seemed natural to keep the job going. And well, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, be, and now, now, obviously, you can't have a winter's farmers market out in the weather uh, because it would be you know, yeah. cold. You got ten feet of snow. It's twenty below zero, yeah. whatever. So you have to have it indoors. Where is it? Yeah. So we, you know, we got lucky and we're in a great location. It's over on eight hundred. South Third Street West. I know it well. It used, yeah, it used to be UBC and Pro Build. Right? It did. Yeah, yeah. So it went from a lumber company, and um, you know, now they have kind of multi-use down there. They call it the Hive. Um, but yeah, we were lucky enough on Saturdays to be able to use it for an indoor farmers market. So, what else are you mixing up against in the Hive? You know, at this point, I'm not really sure what else they have going on. I know um, during the week, I'll go in and kind of check things out, and there's uh, seems like a lot of kind of art projects and you know at this point i think the the main thing they got going is the market tell us uh is it already going on is yeah it- so we we actually um started off the beginning of november um you know and we run well it's kind of a split schedule so we're going to run through december every saturday and then once um you know we hit the new year <clears throat> we're going to take a week off and then starting january 10th we're going to go every other week so. Through um, April 18th. So uh, when it comes to what goes into the farmer's market, is it like a produce market or is it like Peter was talking about a craft market or a mix or how does that Yeah, you know, it's kind of a culmination of, you know, on sa- the Saturday markets during the summer here in Missoula, you know, you have the two, the Missoula farmer's market, the Clark Fork market, and then the Saturday arts and crafts market. Um We've kind of thrown all those together. So we have, you know, produce, eggs, um, you can get meat, dairy. Um. I was going to ask you, I was going to ask you about meat because that that's the one thing that uh, I, uh, my wife does a lot of the shopping at the farmer's market. Mm-hmm. I don't because mm-hmm. I'm busy doing other stuff. But uh, is there also meat available during the summer market? Yeah, go ahead. Uh, yeah, okay. I'm this, let Eric this is Eric, in on this Eric one. Weingard. Okay, it's Eric. Funny you should mention beef. Yeah, um, I'm actually selling the grass fed, 100% grass fed beef, and so that's one of the things we bring to the market. We've been vendors for is it six or seven okay, years. Okay, now who's who is we? Ah, uh, well, my wife, myself, my seven children have all participated. Uh, we have a farm south of Florence, and oh, awesome. our booth is Rocking Rose Farm. So we get into some baked goods, but it's mainly the produce. And now it's the grass-fed beef for now third year. We have eggs. So those are the kind of things that carry over into a winter market that we can continue to provide for people. There's there's craft vendors mixed in, which is something that's not available at the Clark Fork River Market. They try to keep exclusively to the produce and some of the baked goods. So we're able to blend all that together and you know, I tried to write up a quick list. It's amazing how many things. You know, there's barnwood gifts. They're going to be available before Christmas. People are getting real creative. There's plant growers that have greenhouses. There were lilies. There were mushroom vendors. Um, you know, there's coffee there, hot coffee. And uh, Lifeline Dairy comes with their whole setup. So there's cheeses and all sorts of good stuff.